Hello M4 uh, Welcome uh, In this video we are going to do two things uh, In part one We are going to look at natural selection and antibiotic resistance uh, We started with this story in class And we are going to finish it online And in part two we are going to look at how genetic drift and gene flow can cause evolution. So let's begin. So we talked about this story, story about Mina. She is sick. She's been taking a lot of antibacterial medicine, but she's getting worse each day. And I asked you to explain using the data what is going on with the bacteria population in her body and you were supposed to write your answer on your worksheet right here to explain what is going on so this video is going to help you to explain to understand what is going on now before we start it's important to know that there are different types of bacteria in our bodies there are good ones, good bacteria, and bad bacteria. Uh, some of, of the bacteria are weak and harmless. Harmless means they do not kill, not die from you. Uh, you will not die from them. And we have normal and harmless. Again, they do not kill you. Okay? These are good. But we also have very strong and harmful which means they can kill you but they are very strong now inside the body these three types of bacteria will usually fight for the food because of this uh, there are not many of the harmful and strong bacteria because the weak and the normal bacteria can eat more of the food but what happens when we take too much antibiotics okay now uh, if you can imagine uh, these beads are bacteria so the white beads will be uh, the weak and the harm harmless bacteria and you're going to start with eight of them in the body and we have these green beads which will be the normal and harmless bacteria we have five of them and we have the strong and harmful bacteria we have three of them inside the body this is the population when you take an antibiotic vac uh, medicine uh, antibacterial medicine the medicine is going to kill most of the weak and harmless bacteria they will die from the population if you keep taking the, the medicine to kill some of the normal and harmless bacteria now what happens now the strong and harmful bacteria has a lot of food to eat and they're going to grow and multiply they have a lot of baby and they're going to uh, kill you okay because they are very strong when you take the medicine they do not die easily now this is uh, what you can see in the graph you can see that the red the red line is showing the weak bacteria their numbers are decreasing the green is for the normal and harmless they're also decreasing but the purple is showing the strong bacteria and their number is increasing so I want you to write your explanation okay what is going on from what we just talked about on your worksheet and answer number two as well okay this is the end of part one let's go to part two and talk about genetic drift and gene flow now, there are four things which can cause evolution 
remember evolution is just the changes in the genes of the population we have mutation and natural selection which we have talked about so let's look at genetic drift and gene flow how do they cause evolution so genetic drift this is a change in the genes of a population by chance and this is change in time there are two types of genetic drift we have number one bottleneck effect and number two is the founders effect now let's look at uh, what are these things uh, let's look at some examples Now, bottleneck effect let's say this is the original population okay of the organism okay and then something happened an event happened such as volcanic eruption or earthquake or fire this event is going to kill some of the population some of the organisms in the population so we have a new population which look different from the original population. Example, uh, when we have, let's say we have these giraffes, they have green, yellow, and red, and they're just enjoying the day. And suddenly there is fire, and some of them are not lucky, they are killed by the fire. So we can see that the green gene, the color for the green fur, uh, the gene for the green fur could be lost in the population okay because you can see the green did not survive and again this is just by chance okay they're just not lucky this is called bottleneck effect number two is the founder effect in the founder effect let's say we have some butterfly population on this island and some of them are moved randomly to a new island and we can see that those in the new island look different from the original population and they move randomly okay sometimes by strong wind so this is called the founders effect Another example is when the bird eats the seed of the flower, it can drop the seed in a new place and you can see that we have different population from the original population. Again, this is by chance, okay, they move by chance. Now let's look at number, number four, which is gene flow. In gene flow, some organisms move to join a new population. For example, we have some group of birds here, they are brown, and one of them decided to move to a new place and join these birds. When they move to the new place, they take their genes with them, and they can mix with, their, with the genes of the organisms in this new place. This is not by chance, but the organism chooses to move by itself. It is not the wind, but this is by choice. Okay, they move by themselves. Example is human migration. This is migration in time. Okay, so in summary, there are four things which can cause evolution. We have mutation natural selection where the strongest organisms survive genetic drift we have two types bottleneck effect fungus effect and this is just by chance the lucky one will survive and lastly we have gene flow which is by choice one organism decide to move to a new group of organisms and this is genetic flow Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful.